Well, hello folks. My name's Ian and welcome to me shed. Well, when I say that, I don't mean it literally because there's only room for me in here at the moment. We're a little bit full. And no matter how much I try, and I'm going to the uh, the old anvil yard every week, every other fortnight, it, it doesn't seem to be making a dint in it at all. It's still piled high. But the thing, of course, that's, you know, several years worth of collecting. And uh, it's going to take some work, some effort to get rid of it. Anyway, that, that's the old point. That pink thing there. So let's go over the have a look at that. Woo. Right, so we've still got a little bit of a chicane to get through. We're getting there, we're getting there. I promise. Yeah, although you can't see it, I can. Because we've got some floor space here. And uh deadly in pink. Uh Many, many months ago, guy said, I'm, I'm, I'm passing you away down south. He's up north. I'll drop some scrap off at your house. And I did a video, and if I can find it, I'll put a link in description. Mike, I think, I might apologise if I've got the wrong name. It was at least 18 months ago. And he dropped everything off, including the kitchen sink. And he also dropped this little pink baby off. So yes, I've had it 18 months. I've always avoided doing it. And putting it off. Now, because I'm in search for space. The final frontier. Ah. Uh, uh, as, as Dan from K and D Scrapping would say, he's doing his smalls. Well, I've been concentrating on the smalls, and maybe I should be concentrating on the bigger stuff. Get rid of the bigger stuff, and leave the smalls till later. What? It's what worries me about this. Yeah, they say, heat ray sadia. Except it doesn't. It just says heat ray. Look. Oh. Yeah, you know, Snobby Scrap Picker did one of these a short while ago. Uh, Everyday Solace did two of these a short while ago. Got a fish looking copper tank out of them. And today, ah, they're almost at the end of uh, the May, uh, UK Scrapper stripped a under sink hot water heater unfortunately his was an iron tank however why does this worry me i know i'm dragging this out a bit but I, hey it's youtube what do you expect okay why am i so worried why have i had this forever and ever and ever simple it's the age i don't know how old it is let's have a look slot head screws a Bakelite handle brass fittings so I've been putting this off why well one rather simple answer asbestos uh, it's that says to me it's old now the one that everyday solids did the one that uh, snobby scrap picker did and uk scrapper did you opened it and they had a polystyrene lining so the question stands do you think She's deadly in pink. Well, let's stick you on a tripod. Get the screws out. Have a look inside. Well, the first problem's going to be is everything 
in its life uses a posi drive and these are slotted well fortunately I've got a kit where it's put some uh, slotted screwdriver bits in so there we go and let's have a look inside of her why do I refer her as a her is that because she's pink screw out and quality quality look at that quality it's stainless steel screws it's another indication of its age because these days you would just not get the expense of a stainless steel screw in its construction I mean look at uh, UK scrappers video uploaded yesterday or the day before you know it was all iron right that's done got a bit of a tab here oh that they've come apart two little half moons I really didn't show you the rest of the construction did I which is riveted got rivets there there well I've dropped the beer tragedy oh well it's only beer uh, a quick look inside the I can't see the insulation so I've got to take this top off take the top off I'm going to use it's, it's riveted I can either drill the rivets out but I'm not that way inclined am I I'm more of a you know hammer and chisel type of guy so That's one rivet off. As in, how do I open this? Do I literally go at it hammer and tongs? Or use a little bit of common sense? As I said, the, the, the whole thing extrudes age to me. I mean, look, everything's slotted screws, bolted. You know, it just doesn't happen in modern construction. Uh, let's get a bashed open. Rob. Nope, that's well, uh, well put on. Uh, I Whoa, I don't know. Well, okay. I mean, I'm approaching 63 years of age. And if that's asbestos, well, I probably don't have the time left to develop asbestosis. But the same thing, I'm going to take some precautions. So I want to stick a, 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 a mask on, air filter on, and, and take it outside anyway. Okay, so we've come outside. Ah, uh, we're gloved. 
we've got some uh, polythene bags to double bag whatever we take out I do have a good respirator which I will be putting on uh, the people that follow me more regular will realize I'm filming this at the same time as I did my last video so uh, okay I don't know I mean that could just be fiberglass but equally it could be asbestos I don't know feels like glass fibre uh, that disappointingly looks like a steel tank but it cannot be at that age it just cannot be uh, let's take it apart first Oosh. Camera destroyed. Focus. So we've got it totally stripped. There's the top. The insulation's in that bag and then it's going to be double bagged. But what we want to know is is it copper? Don't look like copper. So, uh, what do we know? Well, I thought I'd take the notes off. Well, being a dense Englishman, a dense old Englishman, straight away I went for a 13mm spanner, which uh, didn't fit. I'm thinking, Ian, you're dense. You know it's old. It's going to be... Imperial. So straight away I went for a an half inch spanner. And what do you guess? It didn't fit. Hmm. I moved up to a 14 milli spanner. Ah it that worked right. So it's time we called out the big guns. The big guns. My gods, these had spiders' webs on it. Yeah, big. I mean, Imperial. Why? <laughs> Who uses Imperial anyway? Uh, an old 13 millet, so we go for. Come on. Ian, you've got strong thumb. Whatever. Nine six nine sixteenths, a lovely fit. So uh, I'm going to whip them off. See where we're well, at. I've got to be honest; it's the day after. Uh, got a little bit too tipsy. Uh, just, I just, I, I did film it all, and I might show a tiny little clip of it at the end. You know, my missus last night said to me. Ah, you had enough drink last night, didn't you? I said, oh, no. She said, well, it sounded like it when you was talking to your camera. So I re-listened to it this morning and thought, oh, I can't upload that. So, let's carry on where we left off. So I know we'd finished this. We'd uh, put a grinder on it, proved that it was uh, copper. And the colour is iron. So got to remove that collar. The easiest way of doing that is I lean my considerable girth against it 
and take a chisel and just chisel, chisel it round. Push. One tank. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. It's not very heavy. But it's uh, just over a kilogram. Uh, almost 1.1 kilogram. So, two pounds in weight. Uh, that's still going to be most copper fetching at the moment. Uh, four, five pound fifty ish. So that, that on itself is going to be worth ten English pounds. Just over a kilo. It's going to be worth uh, five pound fifty. Lit up. However, I may not weigh it in. I may do. Let's cut the bottom off. Then I will have a copper dish. And cut the top off. And cut this into sections, and I'll have, we'll have some copper plate. And uh, I may, may make something out of copper plate rather than just weigh it in. Look, oh, that's that, that is brass. So you know, we'll sort out the copper. What about the tubing? Well, the tubing's copper. So take off the brass. Split the difference is probably. Uh, one and a half kilos in brass and uh, half a kilo just over half a kilo in copper which is half a kilo is still two and a half pounds in English money so uh, it was worth doing I'm sort it that way anyway I'm popping on now and uh, I hope you enjoyed that strip she turned out not to be deadly just damned awkward See you in the next one. <clears throat> well, I guess one last thing would be is to uh, put these Imperial spanners back up there for another, I don't know, 10 years.